It's absolutely superb. Welcome to Mexico. Um, got a reserve driver this weekend, and I mean, it was quite difficult when obviously looking through everyone's CVs. Found one dude. He, um, the highlight for me that stood out was um, the bloody Berlin quali lap. Oh, when he, he into Super Bowl, into yeah? Super Bowl. Yeah, I remember that one. Yeah, yeah, it was pretty good. That was mega. Yeah, unbelievable. And then suddenly he goes to Tona and wins the Rolex as well. Fun. <laughs> <laughs> I'm here warm. to take care of these two absolute <laughs> rock stars. Pleasure to be here then. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Is Shiva Inu ever going to make it? No, you <laughs> 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 Yeah, forget it. I own a lot of coins, but it's worth nothing. <laughs> <laughs> I've followed Cass and all I've done is money. Just lose money. You know. Yeah. Unless we could have just gone on holidays. And, yeah. you know. A little bit of reserve work for me this weekend. Hopefully, I can help them, but probably not. <laughs> just rocking up at the track. Um, beautiful city. Hopefully we can explore a little bit, but I doubt it. It's flat out for these guys. Um, yeah, and uh, I think most importantly, Hopefully the race is, is good and uh, someone can win. I don't care who. Yeah, Mitch Evans. <laughs> <laughs> someone, mate. I should have done the selfie mode up. Come over for a picture. Nick, you alright? Take your jacket off. How I got into racing? Well, uh, I was at Spa with my brother's prime. F off, man. <laughs> He's <a> guy, man. <laughs> he keeps on talking, eh? Yes. When I was still good, man, I've been. That, 2012 was my highlight. Oh, hey. mate, I've been going down here since 2010, mate. 20, 2012, I remember walking with my mum into the garage at Spa, seeing his car and stuff. I'm like, oh, check this out, that's cool. <laughs> Just Robert, Robert Price. Yeah. Wins everything he touches. Exactly. Yeah. And then I come to Formula E. <laughs> no permission to put that in. <laughs> Got my permission. <laughs> no way. Side foot um, in Oracle, which hasn't got any air release, so it can be a little bit tricky, especially when you're doing it outside um, against the elements, really. <laughs> Nevertheless, we make it happen. So, this is uh, Pasty, he's our composite technician. Hope you do. As you can see, there's uh, a lot going on. Uh, both drivers had crashes at the last event, so we've got Bodywork being repaired, bodywork being wrapped by Darren. Darren, say hello, Darren. Hi. <laughs> One second. Hold on. Fucking tin top. So, baby, just, just, just stand here and the bottle is gonna hit you. And I'm gonna. <laughs> no, please, please. Please, you're gonna love it. It's not yeah. thrown, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna yeah, save yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. I'm gonna be out of frame. Okay. Just, yeah, exactly. Ready? Yeah. Go. It's lovely I can drive a car. Fantastic. She did Rome post the Summer Olympics, 1960. Right, no, I knew, I knew it was there. I just can't remember the name. 
with a pope lips. Yeah. You notice that I don't stay in the kitchen very long. Here. <laughs> I'm looking forward to going back. So it's a cool memory when you start home anywhere, right? You, you go back and you pop lips. But uh, yeah, I hope the race this time goes well. Trying to ride with a smile and have a good time, and hopefully that that relates to, to results. If I went from P2 to block, literally P22. <laughs> Man, oh, because you stopped on track. No, that no. was the first day. Oh. Man, that was the worst race of my life. You just don't like, pace. What? <laughs> no, like, like zero pace. Had <laughs> a little toe. Had a little toe. And I, I literally just got in the last corner. So it was perfect. So this is Pat. As you can see, all the years of motorsport is trying to take its toll a little bit. Bless him. Years of motorsport. And, and this too. Taking his toll. <laughs> Mate, there's a reason I'm turning you. <laughs> yeah, I, I'm, I'm not there Saturday. Huh? Why are you not there? I fly 11. I'm oh, out. Oh, you're out. You're gone straight away. Yeah. Where, where, he has to clean the floor up. Cool. Exactly. <laughs> For the <laughs> And the woman tells, yeah, please, you missed the spot. You mean the, the wife tells? The wife, the, wife, the, the CEO, yeah. <laughs> the CEO. This is the first chance we get to uh, come on the track since we've been here. It's Friday morning. Um, it's been a couple of years since we've been here now, so uh, it's good to get out again and uh, familiarise ourselves with the settings and the track. You know, make sure there's no surprises. The guys do a lot of work on the sim pre-event. So, um, yeah, this is our first opportunity to have a good look round and, uh, yeah. Get going for the weekend. Thought I missed this place. Not. It was about here. It was about here, wasn't it? When you were coasting into turn one in P3, was it? P4? Before turning in, like, oh, all good. Boom! <laughs> Stand tall, shoulders back. Worst boy band ever. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, here you have grip again. It's great. So you're like surviving, surviving, boom, grips up. This is mega, look at it. It's gonna be packed on race day, full of Envision fans, waving their green flags. Woo, woo, woo. <laughs> it's like no one's taking any notice of the track wall, they're just watching this little car go. Good afternoon, everybody. Welcome to the press conference ahead of the 2022 Mexico City E Prix. We are joined by Silvan Felipe from Envision Racing, or managing director. Um, as always in Formula E, so down to the details. So um, Nick, uh, Nick had a pretty good race one, and Robin, of course, a very, very strong race two. Um, Mercedes powered cars seemed really strong on, on race pace, but we could, we could stay with them. It was okay, but it's a long season, a lot of races, and uh, everyone has done a, a very good job, and everyone is quick, so. I said that every year, and you know it, every year we keep saying it's going to be one more competitive and one more tight, and it's the case every year, so, um, yeah, it's going to be a great season. First time for me now. I, I think. Good. I want to see at least at least one lock. It could be that there's a canoe coming into turn three. <laughs> All left side lock. <laughs>
session to be honest, it wasn't too, too good but I think we're in the game so hopefully we make some adjustments now and we've still got FB2, so big day ahead. What happened? I missed it. He spun on the line? He spun over the line. Qualifying just started for Group A. Um, obviously, these boys are clearly in Group B. Man, these guys are ice cool, mate. Ice cool. Robin's just woken up. And Nick's, uh, yeah, Nick's relaxed and ready to go. So we just finished qualifying here in uh, Mexico, very eventful session, as always extremely close here in Formula E. So Robin managed to uh, make it to the duels, which is great. Nick missed it by four thousandths of a second, which is frankly ridiculous. So yeah, overall, uh, we are not starting on pole here, but pretty, pretty solid result. Um, Robin should start in P7 then, and Nick in P9, which is not extraordinary, but we should be able, hopefully, to score some points from here. We've shown pretty good race pace in, um, in Saudi, so hopefully we can carry that form here. So let's see, it's going to be a long race, so let's see what we can do. wonderful garage that you can see and just around the corner hiding is one of my drivers there's Robin who's hiding around hiding around in the back as well and the exciting thing about my race team about the race team that we work at is that the purpose of our team is about promoting climate change and about sustainability so you'll see on the garage on this side the sign which is about the race against climate change 
and you'll see that the colour of our car is green and that's because we're the greenest team on the grid. Oh, and here's Robin coming to say hello. Robin, this is girls from in Mexico City who are on the Girls on Track promotion. All right. So they've come in and they're all interested in working in motorsports. Oh my goodness, this is exciting. It's like a tattoo, that one. Good job, well done. So we're just on the grid now, uh, ready for the start of the race, soaking up the atmosphere, look at it, look, all these people here, it's fantastic. Um, not in a bad position on the grid, top 10, both cars, so we'll be looking to score good points today. Radio check, Robin, radio check on the intercom. A bit loud. Oh. Radio check moving. Radio check moving. There's battle. Okay, come on. Just... Okay, that's the one minute signal. We can now start driving. We go green in Mexico City after a long hold. Montara gets away pretty well. So does Jean Eric Verne. Montara almost gets it, but Verline comes over, covers the inside. So it's Freitz and then Nick Cassidy in the two green envisions in seventh and eighth places. Woo! Cassidy trying to get past Nick de Vries and manages to do it into turn nine. Here comes Frights, he's got 15 seconds to go, that should be enough to get him down the start, finish straight into turn one, so watch for the fifth and sixth car in the queue here. Frights goes to the inside too, the Costa squeezes him. Frights breaks on the dirty stuff, gets it done. Fifth Just place, <laughs> fifth place for Robin Frights. <laughs> Gets it done. Very Third good. position now for the Dutchman. Very strong. Yes, very strong. There comes De Costa. De Costa goes through. Freitz now drops to fifth position. Mortara, who's back ahead of Robin Freitz. Freitz was in third place a moment ago, and now he's under pressure from the Jaguar of Mitch Evans. I can't change it anymore now, man. I have no chance. Where do we end up, man? We are P7. Seven. Seven, so we're coming with another jet at the start. Marta had a breeze. We are P7. What a race, my Sixth and seventh for the two Dutchmen, Nick de Vries and Robin Freitz. Same to me. Like you want you, you want the fifth winner? I opened up. Yeah, yeah, we we both did. But to the fifth. Let us fight. Okay. Hey, energy was good, huh? So we just finished the race here in Mexico. Very uh, eventful race. A green race, so no safety car, no football CLO. So very tough on energy management. So it was really interesting. We had a really quite strong base overall. Um, but uh, at the end it was quite tricky with the attack mode and, uh, and Nick being caught in the pack. So we need to understand a bit more what happened there. And then Robin showed really strong base, but then like a lot of the grid, we got quite surprised by um, Porsche who basically triggered one more lap. 
Um, all along, it seemed pretty certain that we'd be on 39 laps. And then um, Porsche triggered one more lap, which put some teams in a really deep trouble. And for us, meant that Robin didn't quite have the energy to finish at full race pace. So he lost some places from third back to P7, which is disappointing. Um, but yeah, it was a really tough race in terms of energy management and strategy. So we're going to have a lot to learn on this one, really, uh, in terms of energy management procedure and understanding what, what's going on. Uh, but you know, still overall, good, good race pace. Um, nothing to worry about. It's a long season. We still get some points. And uh, yeah, we have a bit of a break to, uh, to kind of look at the data, work on the sim, and, uh, and then we'll reconvene in Rome.